Uh, it's time now to check back in with Lou Norman at Enormous Mobile Specialty. He has some tech talk, talking about some helpful tips for your car, like not leaving meatballs on the radio. Yes, it does. It uh, makes a terrible smell there. Hey, good morning to you, Lou. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Dave. In the tease, I said, what is this electronic module that we have here, and why is it, like, popping open? Well, this electronic module here... This is a blind spot sensor. There's typically two of them in the car, and they're usually mounted in the rear bumper, and they're exposed. And this is the result. This is the result of Erie Winters. Of course, these are the things that notify you and let you know if there's someone to the left of you or the right of you, and you'll get a little amber indicator on your side view mirror to let you know if there's a car next to you. So when these go bad, what can happen is that little yellow indicator on your side mirror could be on solid. And if it's on solid, that's your first clue. And the reason that can be bad is not only is your blind spot sensor not working, but this can actually prevent your vehicle from starting. Because this is one of the vehicle's computer modules, once it goes offline, your car kind of like doesn't like that. And if all the computers aren't functioning properly, your car is not going to start. So where do you go if this happens? Well, you can go to your car dealer. You can go to an electronic specialist like us. We can fix that. Your car dealer can fix it. Now, because of these failing, and they're failing with cars that are 2016, 2017, 2018, some of these cars are coming in, coming in with 50,000 miles on them. In my opinion, that's not a lot of miles to have things like this failing. So some of the car manufacturers have actually increased the warranty on these items. Normally, a car will have a three-year, 36,000 bumper to bumper. Some car manufacturers have said, well, you know, we're going to give you six years, 60,000 miles in these blind spot modules. And of course, some people are coming in at 70,000, 80,000 miles, and they have to pay for it. These are not cheap to replace. So how can you prevent these from failing? Well, they're exposed. It's kind of difficult. If your vehicle has the opportunity to have mud flaps or splash guards on it, get those on it because everything from the rear tires is blowing back up against that rear bumper and is going to end up on these. Something else you can do is during the winter time, try to take your vehicle to a car wash. Have them spray the water up there and try to remove that salt so it stops binding onto the wire harnesses and on the electronic modules on those blind spot sensors. So with today's Tech Talk, I'm Lou the Electronics Guy in Harbor Creek. And for more information about what our electronic shop can do for you, check out our website. It's enormous.net. That's E-N-O-R-M-I-S dot net. We'll click the contact us we'll see what we can do for you and Dave and Tom back to you in the studio all, all right. right thank you so much Lou appreciate Very it helpful. you know what Lou is missing what's that his name on his uh, sweatshirts he doesn't have his name there it should say Lou <laughs> big three letters Lou just something to consider maybe maybe next yeah. time <laughs> thank you Lou thanks Lou it's 10 minutes now away from seven o'clock he's shaking his head like exactly. Scott Mitchell does, does, does when we end his it's segment. spreading the disease is spreading current temp by the way is 32. We'll be